One part of the Mark drama that has always stuck out to me is the part just after that Peter declares that Jesus is the Messiah, the King the Jewish people have been waiting for. Jesus tells him, you're correct. But then what happens is really unexpected. Jesus says that he must suffer even to death, but then after three days will rise again. Peter confronts Jesus and says, surely not, this is not the way. But then Jesus' response is even stronger. He says to Peter, your words are of the devil. It's at that point that Jesus speaks to his disciples and the audience are around, and he says something really unintuitive. He says that whoever wants to save their life must lose it for Jesus' sake and for the gospel. And that even if you were to gain all the riches and wealth of this world, but lose your soul, that would be a dangerous place to be. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then he called the crowd to him, along with his disciples, and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul?